We are going to take a look here at questions and the answers explained for nuclear chemistry questions from the 2015 New York State Chemistry Regents exams. Question one is asking about order from the greatest penetrating power to the least penetrating power, uh, power for these different nuclear emissions. Alpha, beta particles and gamma rays are listed on reference table O. They're here. As far as penetrating power goes, it goes gamma ray, then beta, then alpha. And gamma rays are actually just high energy x-rays. It's energy. So they have no mass and no charge. Then our beta particles, which are essentially electrons, have a minus charge. And alpha particles are what sometimes are referred to as helium nuclei because two protons, two neutrons, it's the heaviest. So gamma radiation, beta, and then alpha, which is choice four. If we move on to question two, actually it's question two and question three. I misquestioned it, sorry. So we're looking at a neutron hitting uranium-235 and splitting. If it's splitting, it's fission. Just make sure you know it. Question four, which balanced equation represents a spontaneous radioactive decay? Well, that's going to be either alpha decay or beta decay. And what you're looking for is the fact that you have only one reactant and you're going to see an alpha or beta particle as part of the products. The only choice here that fits that is here, choice four, carbon-14 making nitrogen-14 and a beta particle. So spontaneous radioactive decay, you're looking for an alpha or beta particle, and you only have one reactant to start. Let's move on to 15. Compared to the half-life and decay mode of nuclide strontium-90, what about radium-226? In order to answer this question, you need to go to the reference tables. I just went too far. Reference table N. Sorry about that. Strontium-90 is here. And the other one was radium-226. Where are you, radium-226? Here you are. So you're getting the half-life there. Radium-226 has a longer half-life, right? 1599 versus 29.1. And as far as the K mode, they have a different decay mode. Radium-226 is alpha and strontium-90 is beta. So the answer there would be choice two. So it's not something you have to memorize. You just realize when you're looking at a question like that, go to reference tables, specifically reference table N. Question six, which uh, net change occurs in nuclear fusion now? Well, with fusion or fission for that matter, you have mass converted into energy. Good old Einstein's equation, E is equal to mc squared. Just a fact you need to know. Question seven, which particle has two neutrons? Well, in order to figure out neutrons, what do you do? You always do mass number minus atomic number. This would be no different when you're dealing with an atom as well. The reason why I put it here is because it said which particle. Um, these are particles, of course, that are also listed on reference table O here. So we'll just do 1 minus 0, which is 1 for choice 1. We have 1 minus 1, which is 0 for choice 2. For choice 3, it's 2 minus 1, which is 1. Of course, it's choice 4. Helium, which is also uh, two protons, two neutrons, which make up an alpha particle, or choice 4. For question 8, which uh, equation represents a spontaneous transmutation? Again, that's the same really as question four. One reactant, and we're going to get either alpha or a beta particle, which could be a beta or a positron, as the only um, choice here, which is choice four. Check out the second video, part two, for the other three questions. Work hard, and good luck.